Hey Vipers, these are your first week of semester two updates. It's the week of January 3rd to January 7th. Hope everybody had a fantastic winter break. These are the updates. We will send them out this week and also on Sunday, just as a reminder. But we're back in school on the 3rd. Students will report first to advisory to start the day. We'll have everybody do a quick check-in and check your schedules because some student schedules have changed, whether it's due to a teacher or class change or some classes were only semester long classes so we'll start an advisory we'll look at schedules and then we'll get back to first period and we'll be on a normal bell schedule for monday the third which is the first day back for students and then it's a full week of classes next week parking update students remember to get a parking pass you can purchase those in the bookstore please do not park in the surrounding neighborhoods or business areas as your vehicle may be towed this includes the road on 198th Avenue. Senior dates, just a reminder, Seniors Honors Night, May 12th. Last day for seniors is Friday the 13th. It's a half day for seniors. Senior checkout will begin on Monday the 16th. We will have a graduation parade for seniors in the Verado community. It'll most likely take place during the week of the 16th. We have not yet set a date for that event though. And then graduation is on May 21st at 7 p.m. at State Farm Stadium. Students, you may still purchase a cap and gown by Jostens, and you can use this link that is found right here in order to do so. Parents, just a reminder, when students are being signed in and out, they have to be checked out by a parent in the front office. If you have mobility issues and you're not able to make it to the front office, just please let our office staff know. But otherwise, we do want to see a parent when we have a student get signed out for the day and students check into the front office and sign in if they are coming in late due to an appointment or if they uh, missed a, a part of the day. All right, on to athletics. Girls soccer has two home matches this week. On Tuesday, the girls take on Betty Fairfax, and on Friday, they take on Centennial High School. The boys have the opposite schedule. They're away on Tuesday and Friday. They're away at Betty Fairfax and away at Centennial on Friday. Boys and girls wrestling, both teams have a multi meet event at Willow Canyon on Wednesday, January 5th at 4 p.m. Girls basketball is a busy week. They are at Lake Havasu on Monday the 3rd. Then they play at home on Tuesday against Independence High School and Friday against Horizon High School. The boys have two games this week. They play on Monday against Lake Havasu at home. And then on Tuesday, they're at Independence High School away. Site Council, just a reminder that our Site Council meeting has been rescheduled. The next meeting will be February 7th at 530 in the Innovation Lounge at Ferrado High School. Course selection for students has begun. Current ninth graders finished their course selection before break. And then current 10th graders and 11th graders will begin when we return in January our process for course selection. Our students will be able to get an overview and advisory of the courses available to them for the next school year. And then they'll take home their course selection sheet to review with their parents and or guardians. And then after students have selected their classes with the parent and guardian, they will meet individually one-on-one -on -one with their counselor to lock in their course selections. And that'll take place during their English classes in these next few weeks. Reassessment updates. As a district, we have established a district-wide policy on reassessment. This will be a little bit new for Verado for next semester, but district-wide, students will have two weeks after receiving their score in order to take one reassessment. Students will work with the instructor on what is needed to be completed in order to prep for the reassessment, whether that's attend a Viper Connect session, complete additional practice assignments, or make revisions and corrections. So just a little bit different. We will have only one reassessment opportunity for each assignment in the second semester and students have a two week window in order to complete this reassessment option. There is a link in the, the message with a more detailed statement from our district office. And that's it for, for now. If you have any questions about grades or instructional practices or what's being taught, your student's teacher is the 
first line of information as they will be able to give you up-to-date info on what's being covered in the class. And please remember to contact the attendance line if your student is going to be absent. But that's it for this week. Hope everybody has a fantastic rest of their winter break. We'll see all students and staff back on campus on Monday, January 3rd at regular time. So that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay connected, Vipers. And please let us know you let us know if you need anything. One Verado.